Okay, imagine you're part of an esports team that just a few years ago was playing in the minor leagues, and now you're part of your esports pinnacle of competition. The world is watching and talking about you, except they're talking about you for all the wrong reasons, because your org is imploding in a black hole of drama, infighting, and national legal investigations. Well, that's exactly what's happening to Griffin, a Korean League of Legends team that's having a hell of a time both on and off the rift. Okay, so this issue, quite frankly, is a clusterfuck online. A lot of the information is scattered. It's decentralized on Reddit posts, in Discord servers, social media. It's difficult to verify and there's new info breaking all the time. And that's all part of the reason that we wanted to tackle this issue on Don't At Me, to take all that disparate information and cut to the heart of the matter. Now, Griffin as a team is quite a Cinderella story. They formed in 2016 and they made it from what essentially are the minor leagues of Korean League of Legends to the LCK, which is the main league. And they've continued to kick ass ever since. They're kind of like the Rocky Balboa of Korean League of Legends. Now, there are two big names you need to know for this story. The first is CV Max. He's the ex-coach of the team and has been credited with a lot of Griffin's success. The second is Cho Gyu Nam, the current, asterisk on current, manager of Griffin. And I do apologize if I've butchered the pronunciation of his name. Now getting on with the story, last month, just two weeks before the League of Legends World Championship group stage was set to start, it was announced that Griffin and CB Max, the coach, were mutually parting ways. It's safe to say that for most people in the scene, this was kind of a shock. Now after that, two Griffin players, Viper and Sword, seemed to indicate in interviews that CV Max had been lying about the team in some way during his personal streams. Now those two interviews are in Korean, so unfortunately I have had to rely on translations from very helpful Redditors that I haven't been able to independently verify. Sword's interview in particular seemed kind of heated. Here's the key part, at least according to a translation from a very helpful Redditor. Quote, I think CV Max is spreading lies. We like him as a person, so we watch his streams occasionally, but he says a lot of things that bother us. If he was truly the head coach that loved and cared about us, I don't think he would be engaging in this sort of behavior. We let it slide because it's CV Max, but it is really putting us in an awkward position. So I hope for the sake of our team and the players, he should distance himself from our team. What's kind of odd here is that from what I've heard from English speaking LCK fans, CV Max actually didn't say anything negative about Griffin on his personal streams at all. Anyways, it's at this point that things really go south. CV Max sees the interview with Viper while he's streaming and starts dropping bombs about Griffin. According to CV Max, there was no mutual parting of ways. The manager, Cho, straight up fired him. CV Max said that Cho told him he had nothing to do with Griffin's success, that they would have succeeded in the LCK with any coach, and it was all just luck on CV Max's part. CV Max said, again according to a translation, that Cho disallowed him from streaming while he was part of Griffin to prevent CV Max from getting too influential or, or powerful or well known within Griffin. These translations of CV Max's stream really paint a picture of the manager Cho allegedly being jealous of the attention and the credit that CV Max is receiving for Griffin's meteoric rise from challenger roster to one of the best teams in Korea. There are also allegations that Cho allegedly tried to strong arm a young player named Kanavi into signing an allegedly unfavorable contract with a different team. These allegations, by the way, are being investigated by Riot Games, Kespa, and yes, more than one South Korean senator. Now, there's gonna be more on that soon, so stay with me. There are more allegations too, like 
a lot more if you care to actually look them up. Now, it's worth saying at this juncture that all of the stuff from CV Max's stream is of course coming from the perspective of CV Max and from Kanavi, the player. Moving on. Last week, Still8, the parent company of Griffin, broke their silence and released an official statement on the matter. According to a translation by Ashley Kang of Corizon, the CEO of Still8 apologized to CV Max and acknowledged his significant contributions to Griffin's success over the last few years. The Still8 statement also says that they are conducting their own internal investigation into everything that's happened, and that it will likely be released after Worlds. Meanwhile, by the way, Cho is being sued for about $20,000 for an unrelated debt collecting matter, according to translations from a Korean news site. But wait, there's more. Now there are multiple Korean senators involved. One of them, a senator by the name of Ha Tae Kung, and I apologize so much if I'm getting that name wrong, apparently heard about Kanavi's contract. He said there could potentially be criminal charges involved if it's determined that Griffin or a member of Griffin coerced or extorted a minor into signing a contract, let alone an unfavorable or potentially illegal one. That is according to a translation of a Facebook post that the senator meant, and the translation is from the LCK Discord. Shout out to you guys. The second senator involved is a guy by the name of Lee Dong Suk. Once again, apologies for the mispronunciation if there is one. Now, this gentleman has apparently gone as far as to propose an amendment to South Korean law that would require esports contracts to be standardized in some way and first go through the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism. This is according to an automated translation of a Korean news article. In other words, guys, this scandal could change the way esports contracts are drafted and implemented in South Korea forever. And if you're interested in learning more about this scandal, there are a lot more threads to pull on out there. But it's worth saying that while all of this has been happening, the actual team, Griffin, has been wrecking shit at Worlds. Domination from start to finish in two games straight, and Griffin make a commanding statement here. When the pressure is on, they show up, they show up big, and they have dominated the LEC's first seed to take first in the group. They won all but a single group stage match and faced defending world champions IG in the quarterfinals this Saturday. It's an incredible place to be in for a team that, just over a year ago, wasn't even playing in the LCK. But unfortunately for the fans of Griffin and for the young men that actually make up the roster, this scandal is all anyone is talking about. Oh, by the way guys, if you're still watching, you must really love our content, and if that is the case, well I have good news for you. Our feature length documentary series, The Story Of, is now in podcast form. You can download it from iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. There'll be a link in the description below. Okay, sick. Alright, let's do it. Let's, let's, Griffin, skinny, skinny. You want to clap me again? Oh yeah. Alright. Actually, I'm going to be an asshole. Yeah. Your hoodie strings. <laughs> oh yeah, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is good. I cannot see that, so I have to rely on other humans. Honestly, I didn't even notice it. Of course not. That's all the Yeah. That's important. Oh, boy, I gotta, I gotta make sure the drip is right. Yeah, it's important. People, people expect it now. 